Hello guys, and we are about ready to get started with round number three over here, and we return to Erangel. So if you're watching this uh, video here, then uh, unfortunately I was not able to stream this live as I was suffering quite badly from um, a failure in my internet connection. So I'm only able to make this recording. But anyways, I hope you guys are able to enjoy this regardless. So yes, it is coming in from the northern side going all the way down to the south, a little bit onto the west side here. And we actually see a couple teams dropping in Severni over here. And uh, we're going to have uh, Team Joseph over here dropping together with Resurgence here, actually. And we already see BN Power also dropping around the shooting range as well as to uh, Georgia Bowl region. South George is going to be occupied by a Team Old man at the moment and uh they're going to try and do what they can at the moment uh as they do have uh, pretty much the whole of the place of themselves but rozok and school region is going to be absolutely packed here as we see red sea going for tradition their traditional spot in rozok at the moment and uh we actually see uh six gaming here uh, going a little bit everywhere at the moment here probably trying to anticipate a lot of the problems coming in here from some of these other teams um, actually occupying the zone. Quack Jr. also going for school at the moment. And uh, Severni will see actually Railgun taking a few early hits here as uh, he takes uh, some hits from Luvius, but that's going to be okay for the time being. But in the school region, I think it's uh, it's going to be a little bit crowded. I think in the actual school itself, uh, GIF Esports here going to uh, hang out here by themselves. But Croft here for uh, Team Quack Jr. And Ninjas here. Going to try it being a little bit of a problem here as they are taking a lot of fire. Catfang Gaze here going out early here to Koyak Gaming uh, or the mixed team. And uh, now it looks like um, the rest of uh, Squad 17 GIF Esports Bravo here going to occupy the apartment complex very much so. And uh, Quack Jr. only has three players at the moment here. So it looks as though that they, um, they actually do have uh, four players. Croft here uh, in the, stuck in the middle of nowhere. He's trying to dodge all these bullets here and uh if he's not careful he's gonna be uh going down here at this moment in time but for now it should be okay for the time being as uh now he is able to uh get out of harm's way just a little bit here um so a little bit fortunate for him in this uh round number three but yes, elsewhere we do see that in Rozok it is uh, currently uh, still going to be controlled by Red Sea. And looks like the circle has shifted all the way north after being in the southwest for the, both of the last two rounds here. So uh, going to be a bit fortunate there. But yes, Naya looks as though it's going to get very crowded here as we do have three teams here. We do have BN Power uh, deciding to move here as well as uh, Team Joseph squad number four and uh, squad number one Freaky Board team also occupying the zone in the southern region. So currently there's enough spacing here that I don't think there's going to be any problems for the time being, but things can change here as uh, we already see that uh, BM Power taking quite a bit of damage here, just getting into this spot here. So they'll do well to actually keep their team members up here in this um, present moment in time. But in Pochinki here, things are heating up here as we did see that this is where Katfange is here, did die as um, the mixed team of squad 12 did manage to take him out here. Now it looks as though Asmix, Rexon, and Tyler are going to try and hold the floor for the time being and see what kind of shots that they can get here. Rexon able to knock one of the players down here after he was trying to uh, invade onto their territory at the moment. But it looks like QXZ is going to go down as well. And it looks like uh, Taicho, the last person to go down here, as Asmix will finish it for MBT Nobby. So they do have uh, part of Pachiki to themselves here, but not all of it, as they do actually have... To the north here, um, three of the team members from Tactical Stock at the moment. But now it looks like Railgun and the rest of uh, his squad are going to uh, make a little bit of hurt onto uh, some of the BN Power guys. As he is in the northern side here, able to catch out one of the players here. Bumpy J and Hayoma are going to be the last people left here for BN Power for the time being. Um, so yes, in any case... We will revisit it later, but looking at Military Island here, it looks like GeekFam going to come here again. They're occupying the, the barracks complexes here, and uh, now they're going to try and finish off Bukit Padang here, as well as uh, Captain Simo Haya. 
So currently, Bukit Padang under a little bit of problems here after he's taking quite a bit of damage here. And now it looks like Jangs and the rest of Geek Fam going to try and clean this out. They want to finish this early here so they can get done with this uh, looting phase as uh, they do have uh, quite a bit of a ways to go here. But it looks like Madi going to be getting the flank there. And uh, KNY got pushing up onto the left side here. So Bukit Padang going to be in a bit of trouble here after he gets caught out by Madi. And uh, that's going to be it for... Bukit Padang there and uh, currently there are only two, te two team members left for Team Balats at the moment here so they're going to try and uh, hold up or try and withdraw actually they're going a little bit towards the southern side here near the control tower so Xavier is going to see whether or not he can track him down but Madi getting two frags already early in this game so uh, looks like uh, they actually might be able to spot them out here they're actually going for the us at the moment and the vehicle is going to be disabled a little bit here leaving them a little bit stranded here so now they're going to have to try and make do with what they can now geek fam knows exactly where they are they're going to go around for the flank at the moment but looks like uh, a lot of fire going on here in this central region as uh we've seen rosok here being quite the um quite the war zone here the nade comes in here but that is a nice nade coming out from Tanaga here, but he gets caught out by uh, NRL. So NRL gonna try and push up here and try and see whether or not he can catch out some of these other players. And uh, looks like Tanaga will be going down there. And uh, now he is gonna try and push around to the side here as he tries to get a good flank. But the rest of uh, Red Sea, Pokoyo and Papa Zayat are coming in here to try and uh, assist on the situation and try and avenge Hakagusa's death here. So looks like... Uh, my half man here gonna get caught out here at two different angles and looks like uh that's gonna be an early game here for gif esports now others are trying to make their way over to the zone but now things are heating up over here in yasnaya see we see hayoma here able to knock down one of the or take out one of the free key free key keyboard uh teams here and uh Looks like uh, the rest of the team members from uh, his team squad are going to be in the southern region. Still, John C. Nobody and Kax is here. But looks like uh, uh, Geek Fam able to finish off the last two members there from Team Balats here. And that's going to be it for him. Uh, but now things are heating up in Pachinki as well as we see... Uh, there is full-fledged war here between MBT, Nobby here, and uh, Tactical Stock. So Tactical Stock in trouble here. The two of their players have gone down. Um, but of course... There was a bit of a loss there for MBT uh, with Tyler going down. So Asmix and Rexon will be the only players left here. So Pachinki is still inside the zone. They have a little bit of time for uh, getting you know, getting their gears in order here. As uh, now in south of Severnia here, uh, Resurgence has actually moved a little bit away here. They have uh, six gaming here in the southern compound over here. And uh, currently, they do have a 2-1 split going on. And uh, Brax and Aeon are really uh, kind of out in the open. They're using that natural terrain as best as they can to see whether or not they can get some decent shots onto these team members here. But the Luvius will be backing up uh, Brax over here while well, Kasaki does maintain the high ground for the time being here while well, trying to see whether or not he can get some good shots. But Yasnaya looks as though Bumpy J and the rest of... Uh, uh, what left, what's left of his squad is trying to just hang in there. Uh, so being powered, only having one player left here, as uh, looks like in Moraine and uh, Angst got here. Going to try and push up the stairs here as they see whether or not they can finish Bumpy J. But Bumpy J going to try and catch them out here, and he manages to get some hits, but in Moraine going to finish him off with that... Uh, barrel at the moment so that's going to be it for bn power in this game but six gaming here uh still trying to fend off the push here they have uh tried to consolidate their position gary i'm trying to cross the road at the moment but they're facing a lot of hits here as he is taken down out in the open here and they're going to confirm the kill as well so resurgence is going to try and put the squeeze onto the last two members of six gaming over here so uh currently a6 here just trying to watch this uh eastern flank at the moment make sure aeon can't get across the road too easily but he is going to get inside the buildings over there and uh see whether or not they can put up some extra fire and dbg is a little bit far away from the rest of his team here so that could be a, a factor here as they try to fend off this potential push coming in others have already made a lot of their rotations here and looks like in the apartment complex it is going to be um give esports bravo trying to duke it out with the rest of uh Quack Jr. here as they're just trying to hold themselves up in the the top of the stairs here and it looks as though that uh, 
Cross is gonna knock down uh, Legendary X7 here. And uh, Ninja here on the other side with the shotgun. And so they're gonna try and fend off this push. And it looks like uh, Croft able to catch him out. And now it looks like Ninja's here. Gonna try and charge down a little bit further here. But now uh, Croft is gonna try and get a little bit of cover here. He's not able to get in in that moment in time. So that's gonna be it for him. But now A6 in trouble as he gets uh, burned actually to death here by Brax. So and making very good use of that Molotov available to him. So Brax just going to post a little bit onto the stairs here and see whether or not any further push is going to be coming. Now, he does deploy the grenade, but he gets a bunch of grenades in his face as well. So, um, going to be a little bit unfortunate for him. Andy BG is nowhere around, but it looks as though he's able to knock down Luvius as well with his own nade. So, a uh, little bit of chaos there, but Resurgence does come out on top, eliminating 6 Gaming. Elsewhere, we will be seeing... Others are going to be uh, continuing their rotation. Currently, GeekFam just crossing the bridge at the moment here and should be doing their best to try and get across ASAP. But now things are developing a little bit over here as we do see that the team members from Buduya here are uh, actually crossing over the bridge from South George side. Now, they managed to escape a lot of fire from Team Old Man here, uh, but uh, now they actually have to worry about a uh, little bit of fire from Snazu. Nothing too serious there that they can't actually get through with their rotation. But yeah, now looking at how things are going, uh, Red Sea is actually uh, disengaged from Rozok here. Now they are just driving around this region here. It is going to be very central. So they are just going to stay mobile for the time being. They are currently camping the bridges here and see whether or not they can uh, actually catch any of these teams that actually do decide to rotate up through this uh, northern corridor or central corridor rather. Uh, so now all these teams will be waiting just to see how the circle is going to develop. Then it will actually dictate a lot of the play that's going to happen here. But now we will be having a look and seeing how this part is going to develop here in South George. And looks like it shifts all the way up north here. So Resurgence is going to have that very good central compound. They do have a lot of good vision on all these teams. We already see Red Sea and uh, Freaky Board Team here already making their moves all the way up north as they try and... Um, claim a good spot in the central region of the circle but not little do they know that this compound here is going to be taken by resurgence here they open up on nrl but they maybe did it a little bit too early here but there's going to be tons of fire coming his way but john c nobody also gonna try and go for this compound here as he tries to come out with it he manages to knock down pokoyo here but whoa the flying uh dacia here Going to be a little bit crazier as NRL able to catch out Caxus as well. And it looks as though that Freaky Board team is going to face their end. And uh, Pokoyo should be a bit safe here. But for only a short while as Resurgence is going to press the advantage here. They don't want any team nearby them at all. And uh, looks like they really don't like that Dacia. It's currently going to blow up here. And Aeon is going to go on the left side here. See what kind of nade he can get in here inside the, the building. And it might be good here as he's able to catch NRL. He's going to push in here on the left side. Currently, Papa Zayn is going to try and cover it. But he doesn't have a good uh, position here. He's caught out by uh, Aeon. Aeon is going to take his time here and see whether he can catch Pokoyo. But he runs out of bullets at the crucial moment. And uh, now they're going to try and finish the swarm in. The swarming push here, and it looks like Luvi is going to finish off Pacoyo, and that's going to be it for Red Sea here. But now looking at uh, South George, they are trying to disengage, but it looks like Team Old Man here going to hold the cards for the time being here, as they do already have that position across the bridge at the moment. So it looks like there's going to be a little bit of swimming here for Noob Agus as they try and get across Inter's Entrace Pam here, uh, actually getting knocked down by Rain Zera. I don't think his teammates can help him in any way right now. They have their own lives to worry about for the time being and uh, just trying to get a position. Mind you, both of these teams are currently not inside the zone. So this is really going to put the squeeze onto them. And of course, the team members here from uh, Team Old Man are going to be able to put up some hurt on that. Now, Resurgence looks as though they're going to town on the team members from uh, for fun here as uh, they go down after they explode in a ball of flame so resurgence really claiming the dominance here in the center part of this circle as uh now they're currently still occupying that compound owned by or formerly owned by um red sea but now we will be seeing how this uh high ground is going to play a part i think the high ground did really work very well in team old man's favor in the last round as they did manage to win that chicken dinner but rain zara taking a long hit there from crown and uh omnidyne and vertsy here Going to try and 
help him up a little bit, but from the looks of things, um, Elliot is all the way on the other side. He's going to have to bug out as well. The blue zone is moving in. Now, they do have a little bit more time to actually move in, and but uh, the team members of uh, Noob August here are going to try and do what they can, actually make use of the situation uh, after getting that knock as they have... Uh, Marlora is here, uh, trying to move up this side, but Bertsy does have a good view of him, and he's gonna try and put some more fire back in his direction. Alright, and we are back guys, so sorry, there was a, a little bit of a disconnect there, so we did miss some of the action here. But now things are condensing over here onto the northern side as the circle has pushed up north again. Currently, we do have a, a few squads here, all very close together as MBT... Uh, Nobby here, currently duking it out with uh, Buduya and uh, Rosox D and Darkus from uh, Minon Kopi at the moment. Currently, they're trying to push in from that southern side at the moment. But on the other side, they actually do have uh, MBT to contend with as uh, Asmax and Rexon just trying to hold their ground for the time being as they are still three men here with a relatively good position. But if they're not careful, they might actually face off against uh, all four of these uh, players at once here, which is probably not something that uh, Buduya wants uh, to actually take place. But now looking at things, uh, we already see that they are returning fire. They managed to take down Asmix here with leaving only uh, Rexen here behind, trying to do anything. He's trying to deploy the smoke grenade while he tries to save out his teammate. Now, um, Rexen gonna try, just try heal up a little bit more. But Rosox D and uh, Darkas here uh, on the other side. But we have uh, Dojoku here uh, actually able to try and defend off uh, any potential advancement coming out from here. As uh, it's going to be crucial to prevent them from uh, crushing this flank. But looking at how other things are developing here, Severny does look like it's going to be the, the melting pot here for the rest of the action here. As uh, now we see that uh, Rexen here going to be under pressure here from the advancement from Marilores as well as Zodiac. So currently they are pushing up fast here as Rexen is going to try and do uh, what he can here to just try and push in here and just go for it. The situation is quite dire here as uh, currently it's just so crowded here with all these teams and currently the blue zone is already on the move here. So we already see the team members from uh, Buduya having to disengage here as uh, looks like Mega Dia Deed is actually uh, caught out here by Rexen and Rexen just going to try and look for the rest of his teammates. We see Minon Kopi here also making their moves as is uh, Noob Agas here who is trying to move in and Vertsi is trying to meet up with the rest of his uh, teammates uh, from uh, team old man as uh, we already see Rain Zero, Elliot and uh, Omni Dine here already taking up position there uh, But looks like they are trying to return a little bit fire here making things a little bit difficult for further advancement Now we do already see that uh, in Severny it is going to be resurgence on the western side here putting pressure onto Geek Fam and Team Joseph So they're gonna have to do the best they can but right now resurgence does have one of the players all the way in the south here to offer um, a means of getting information and scouting here and Rexen blows up here and that's gonna be it for MBT not be here and uh, now we will be seeing actually the two team members from oh yeah the one team member Rosok D there for Minom Kopi which is actually trying to advance into this position here but now we do is actually see Andy BG still alive here for six gaming for the time being here and all the way over on this side is going to be the two team members from um if esports bravo as well but now geek fam having a good position here inside this zone here looking pretty strong currently aeon still playing by himself here as the lone ranger for resurgence at the moment he's just gonna have to stay put there for the time being as his vehicle is taken out by KNY god now the rest of uh, geek fam does have a lot of space to work with at the moment but Aeon is in, still in the center of the circle he does have that hard cover available to him so he could probably just wing it for the time being but the rest of the, the the teams here are finding their own spaces at the moment in the center um, over here. We do actually see that the team members from Team Old Man are going to try and hold this position as best they can. Um, looking at how things are developing though, there are still the two team members from Buduya here and uh, also from Rosex D for Minon Kopi here who could offer some challenge here as that Shaq is... Uh, pretty destructible and uh, they have to actually be careful here they are using a lot of the terrain cover here at the moment to try and get the job done 
but of course that could change in a heartbeat here. So we'll have to see how that part is going to play out. But looking at things, Resurgence here, just going to hold up here for the time being here and see whether or not they actually do need to make any moves here in this next zone. But looks like everyone from Severny here is going to have to shift all the way down here. And looks like uh, Team Old Man might be in for another strong finish here, given the strong position that they have in this zone. And uh, all these other teams are going to have their work cut out for them as they try and push in here as best they can. Jank's already on the move at the moment to take up the position in this compound that was previously owned by uh, Resurgence here after they moved out. But now looking at how things are here, the rest of Geek Fam is going to make their rotations now and try and get inside their zone as quickly as possible. They have managed to move a lot faster than Resurgence here who are currently occupying that western side. Aeon is... Uh, Still very much in the center of the circle here, but now looks like Resurgence is going to go for the compound on the other side for the time being here. But looks like Andy BG finally caught out there on the shooting range side, and that's going to be it for him. And looking at uh, others, uh, we will be seeing that the team members from both uh, Buduya as well as Minum Kopi are going to be trying to navigate their way coming down here, but currently looks looks as though that they are all outside the zone for now. But now Geek Fam has that position across the road here, and uh, looking at these three uh, players from Resurgence here, oh, looks like Luvi is able to get a nice headshot onto uh, Jangs there, and uh, they might actually be able to find another helmet if they're lucky here. But now the pressure is building here as uh, Geek Fam is still continuing to be the focus of uh, Resurgence's attention here. But now looking at the three team members going running for uh, Noob Agus here have really caught the attention here for the team members of, uh, of Team Old Man at the moment. As it uh, looks like uh, they're able to finish off uh, Marilores here, but Crown able to knock down Omnidyne here. And now the two team members from Team Joseph here are taking shelter inside this bunker at the moment, but Vertsy is taking a lot of hits for his trouble. So they are getting caught out from multiple sides here after having the strong position. And uh, now they do need to try and get some solid cover here. Now, there is that little mound there for the shelter, but it's occupied at the moment by Team Joseph. So it's gonna be difficult for them to push in there from that perspective. But all the way here in the southern region, we also do have Rosax D still alive here, just hiding it out here. Same as the two Budaya teammates. But uh, this thing looks like it's going to spill over pretty soon here and uh, see how the next circle is going to pan out here as it might force uh, Resurgence and Geek Fam to actually move again here depending on how harsh the circle could be. Aeon just going to stay put for the time being here in that uh, position. Now looking at this, uh, looks like Vertsy and Rainzera able to finish off those two team members from Team Joseph that were occupying the that little shelter area there and uh now we will be seeing how the rest of things are going to pan out it's uh it is going to be a little bit interesting here as uh ooh, geek fam still inside the zone here at the moment and resurgence is going to be in a lot of trouble here um but now the opposition is starting to thin here and it can actually be a good thing for team old man at the moment now they were facing a lot of pressure from um noob agus here but now they only have two players left zodiac and crown at the moment so they're gonna have to try and uh push into this uh compound at the moment but resurgence is going to be the one in the biggest problems here now they're just trying to finish off these two members of gift esports bravo here uh, because they don't want to get shot in the back when they do their rotation but currently they can't seem to kill them off at the moment the smokes are coming out for Gif Esports Bravo here as they look to try and make this push happen and uh, it could actually be a, uh, a little bit of a thorn in the side of Resurgence here as it's going to be difficult for them to disengage. They probably have to leave one person here just to try and fend them off while the rest try and think of how they're going to make them move as uh, now uh, Brax here has got on the bike here and he's going to try and get away but he's taking a lot of hits savior able to catch him out with the m16 there and now the car is on the move here between brax and uh and the rest and they're just trying to land whatever shots they can the car is almost going to explode here and uh a lucky turn of events but oh it looks like elliot will be able to finish off that car was burning quite heavily and now aeon will be the last player for Resurgence, so he's going to duck right back into the cover there 
as he looks to try and prolong things. But now it looks as though Crown and Zodiac here going to town onto Team Old Man as they start pushing that position. And uh, they're getting caught out from multiple angles here. So it's going to be incredibly difficult for them to still hold onto that spot. But now we already see that uh, the rest of Geek Fam here is going to just try and wait out here for those two members from GIF Esports Bravo to move in. And uh, it is looking incredibly dire here. If uh, they do want to survive, they're going to have to ma start making their move pretty soon. And uh, Pear Pie and Mrs. Bourne just going to try and hang in there. But they do not have any more space. The blue zone is here. And KNY God and the rest of Geek Fam here going to catch them out as uh, they actually have to make their move. And uh, Mrs. Bourne taking some hits there. Rather die to the blue here. Or just try and see if we can get the last ditch heal. But it's not forthcoming here. And uh, now we are down to 11 players left here. And uh, looks like Geek Fam looking pretty strong with four players up here. Team Old Man wasn't able to get their two team members down. So it's just going to be Elliot and Reen's there. So we got squad of two, two, and two here with Aeon, the last player for Resurgence. So now looks like Geek Fam is going to be on the move here as they start to look for where the rest of these players are. They have the, the squad strength right now, but Aeon is going to hold up behind the that shelter for the time being here. He does have that cover for, the, for a little bit, but the grenade is good here and Jank's able to finish him off so that's it for resurgence here and now geek fam is all advancing up this hill at the moment rain zara and elliot are trying to fend them off as best as they can but looks like it's going to be increasingly difficult to face the full might of geek fam at the moment as uh, kny god is advancing here quickly and uh as are the rest of the the team members here but elliot is going to bug out a little bit rain zara as well they are going to go for the the shelter here is it is going to offer the best cover at the moment, but KNY God and the rest of Geek Fam are pushing up. Sick goes down there for Buduya, and uh, looks like a nade is going to come out there as uh, they look to finish off Joku as well, but not able to connect there. He will be able to get the res, but Sick goes down immediately, and now Elliot will be inside the. That shelter, he takes a bunch of hits there from KNY God. So oh, it looks as though that Modi will be finishing off both of the players there for uh, Buduya. So Geek Fam looking pretty strong here to take it here as they only have two team members from Team uh, Noob Agus here that's left currently. Zodiac trying to push up the shelter area, but currently Savior is on that mound there. And uh, if he can, he will be able to pop up over the top here and catch. Uh, that last player, but Crown TV here gonna be the last remaining player and Jenks has gone for the complete flank here and uh, gonna try and finish him off and he's able to do so claiming that chicken dinner in round number three guys so Geek Fam really having a nice strong round after uh, the last two rounds uh, didn't work out too well for them um, but they did manage to finish it here in a very strong position and they got 15 kills to boot there so Modi leading the way with six kills KNY got backing him up with five and Savior with and Jenks with two kills apiece and in second position we do have Noob Agus there who did actually Actually managed to get um, that second position after they were putting a lot of squeeze onto the team members from Team Old Man's. But Team Old Man uh, lost two of their players there and were not able to come out with it. So they ended up in third position um, with two kills between a piece between Elliot, Rain Zara, and Vertsi. And in fourth place, we did see that Buduya were able to stay alive right there towards the end there, but um, they did get picked off by Modi in quick fashion there. And uh, in fifth place, we have Resurgence after uh, not having a very good position in the uh, in the circle before the one that they were forced out of uh, they were caught in rotation there after they tried to disengage from that battle with uh, geek fam there so they are only able to get fifth place in that round aeon was able to stay alive towards the end but a nice nade coming out uh, was able to put that finishing touch onto uh, aeon so that's it for round number three for these set of uh, uh battle arena scrims guys so uh I will be bringing you fourth and final round from tonight's games. You're watching Play of the J.